Yo, YouTube was good, man. Um, in this video, I told y'all the next video was gonna be me prepping the bay and getting ready to paint the bay. So I'm about to show y'all that right now, man. I ain't been filming none. I just been getting to it. You can see the cars back on the ground is outside now. Just getting ready to um, degrease it and all um, put pressure uh, pressure washing and all that. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So um, I done got everything taken off already. I got all the mounts and everything took off. And yeah, I've been taping up and blocking off some of the stuff. I ain't want to get uh, just water in and stuff like that. So after this, I'm um, I might paint today. I don't know. I might carry this video on tomorrow. I don't know. Depending on how fast everything dry. It is a little cold out here today, so. I don't know. I might paint today, so just stay tuned, man. But I'm about to go ahead and start uh degreasing and pressure washing this thing. So I'll be back with y'all.
Alright y'all, so as y'all can tell, um the bay is a whole lot cleaner after I wash it off and all that stuff. So now I'm gonna let it dry now and I don't I still don't know if I'm gonna paint today. It might be tomorrow, so I might continue this video tomorrow, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of sanding, you know, cause just a little some some spots around there. But other than that, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm about, uh, I'm about to get the painting. Oh, I actually did find the right paint for the um for the engine bay. So in that last video, I told y'all it was um, champagne pearl, whatever. But I actually found the Naples gold for this. So I will be um just using that. I went and got the right uh paint. So just stay tuned, and I'm see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. Um, it is the next day, as you can see. I showed y'all before that the bed, pressure washer and all that. I done started sanding a little bit, you know. So this was the worst spot on the car right here where the battery tray is. So I mean, you're really not gonna see it, but I still want to clean it up. So right here, two some little spots. So yeah, and then the shop towers on both sides got it pretty bad so it's just little rust spots here and there all around so I just been I'm saying scuffing them up I mean overall the bay is not bad the back wall really doesn't need nothing I'm just gonna scuff that up a little bit with uh probably some scrap some scotch bright and call it the day but yeah you can see on this side too the shop towers got it pretty bad I haven't did this side yet so I'm gonna finish. Um, I'm gonna finish sanding this, and I got this the space heater right here to try to bring the temperature up a little bit. I don't know how good it's gonna work, so I'm gonna get back to that, and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all a little bit. So YouTube, um, I got everything covered up. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to paint. I just use um, aluminum foil for all the holes and stuff on the back wall. So, and then a trash bag to cover all the stuff on the um, bottom. So, we're about to get ready to paint, man. First, I'm going to hit these spots where um, with some primer where it's really bad with rust. And I'm really, only thing I'm really focusing on is the firewall. You know what I'm saying? The side the frame rails and all that. And the shock towers. On both sides and then i'm gonna paint uh i'm gonna paint this i'm gonna paint this and maybe maybe i'm gonna paint no i'm gonna paint this too maybe i don't know so yeah maybe this i don't know because that's where the bumper go but um y'all stay tuned i'm gonna get back with y'all when i after i do the first coat of paint so bb all right you two so i laid the first coat i ain't really got like every spot filled up so you know i'm gonna get those when in the next coat so i'm probably gonna do like three four coats maybe that should be enough because the back the firewall really is not bad like it had like the little fire um the flyer the fire cloth protection thing so it just been kept good i'm just hit that a little bit but yeah, she's looking kind of good right now. I got some spots, you know what I'm saying? I gotta fill it up. But I'm gonna get back to y'all after I finish. So yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. All right, y'all. So I finally finished painting this uh, bay. And you know, it ain't the best, you know. I did uh, three coats and them cans didn't last long. But you know, say it's not the best, but you still can see a little rust popping out right there. But this was the worst part. But the battery tray gonna be right there, so that really, really ain't gonna see that. But yeah, I just hit these, the shop towers. I mean, I hit that just a little bit, the firewall, because you really not gonna see it. But yeah, this was the main focus. I mean, this was my first time painting something this big like that, so you know what I'm saying for my first time. It look alright. It's good with me. So 
time to dry now but that's it for this video next video should be um me taking this harness off and getting ready to put it up there and i should be painting the transmission pressure washing and painting the transmission in the next video and I'm probably going to paint the front of that and not the back because you ain't going to see it so I also did paint the battery tray with black it was really rusty I don't know I mean it I mean it's, it's alright it can do but that's really it for this video remember to like and subscribe and tell everybody about me and yeah man we'll see y'all in the next one